Hello everybody and welcome to another update on the F1 in Schools 2021 UK competition season. In this video we're going to cover the primary and secondary competitions through primary class, entry class, development class and professional class. So let's first of all start off with the F1 in Schools primary class competition. There's a brand new rulebook for the 2021 season which can be downloaded from the F1 in Schools website. We've created a Covid safe competition for all teams through remote UK final events which will happen in the summer of 2021. So let's take a closer look at the competition dates and deadlines that you guys need to be aiming towards this season. It all starts on the 26th of March when you need to have your teams registered with F1 in Schools. This means simply going to the F1 in Schools website and registering your school with an indication of how many teams you're going to bring along to the competition. You'll then have till the 4th of June to complete all the project elements including your portfolio, your verbal presentation video and of course your car. Portfolios and videos will need submitting digitally while the car will be posted to F1 in Schools HQ. Then on the 19th of June the F1 in Schools event team will whir into action and broadcast a very special one-off racing and awards show for the UK competition. When it comes to the race show we'll do all the work from racing the cars to having the work judged and presenting it all back to you in a way that you can enjoy on our YouTube channel. We'll make sure to feature every team and car competing in the competition and you'll be able to tune in from home to watch the racing and the awards as the event unfolds. At the end of the show, our very first F1 in Schools Primary Class UK National Champions will be crowned. To enter the competition this year, teams need to complete three basic elements. First of all, an F1 in Schools Primary Class car based around the standard paper chassis, wheels, axles and tether line guides. These are all available in the Primary Class Starter Kit available from Denford. Cars will be posted to us at F1 in Schools HQ with registered teams receiving the full details. It's then a case of recording your verbal presentation, which is essentially like a Dragon's Den pitch. Who the team is, how they've worked together and how they've achieved their objectives in the competition. This can be recorded in separate components and put together or recorded as a one-off. Either way, let the team have some fun with this and really see what they can do. The verbal presentation will be uploaded via a digital link sent to registered teams. Then there's the design portfolio, which teams can complete electronically, either in PowerPoint, Word or any other software they prefer, which can then be uploaded to F1 in Schools using the same digital upload link. And last but not least, of course, it's the racing. Teams will be invited to watch the racing as it unfolds on screen while cheering on their car from the safety of their own classroom or home. Let's now take a look at the secondary competition, specifically in England and Wales. Here we're going to aim for a summer term regional final competition just before the summer break in England and Wales in July. Teams will be going for a UK national final in the autumn term from September onwards, with progression to the 2022 F1 in Schools World Finals. The crucial dates for teams in England and Wales, the 26th of March for team registration deadline. This is when schools must be registered with F1 in Schools to stand a chance of competing in this year's regional finals. All project elements must then be submitted by the 11th of June through both digital uploads and the mailing of race cars. The regional final broadcasts for England and Wales will begin from the 12th of July with a racing and awards show for each region put on by the F1 in Schools event team. Now onto the secondary competition in Scotland which differs of course because of the slightly earlier summer holidays. Here the summer term regional finals will happen slightly earlier from June onwards with the autumn term UK national final falling back into line with England and Wales. Again, teams are going to be competing for a spot at a 2022 World Finals. The specific Scottish dates to remember, team registration on the 26th of March, as with the other regions, and this is to make sure that your school is signed up with an indication of how many teams are going to participate. Slightly earlier than England and Wales, the 4th of June is your project submission deadline and that's to have your digital elements submitted to us and your cars posted to F1 in Schools HQ. The Racing and Awards show will then take place just before the Scottish Summer Holidays on the 18th of June. Let's now take a quick look to refresh ourselves about the project elements and how to submit them in 2021. Well, the first element, as always, is an F1 in Schools race car designed to the competition class that you choose. This is to be manufactured as best you can in school or using our manufacturing centres or even using some of the tools that you might have at home and then posted to F1 in Schools HQ. Full address details will be sent to registered teams. Next up there's the pit display which can be done in one of two ways either as a 3D CAD model using our 3D CAD template or done in 2D either by hand or on a computer package such as Adobe Illustrator. 
Remember, the point of a pit display is to act as a shop front for your team, so have a think about how it represents you, what you've done, and how you've got to the competition. Next up is the verbal presentation. Usually delivered in person to a panel of judges, this time it's up to you to decide how to film, when to film, and more importantly, how to put together your video. This can be done in separate components and stitched together with a bit of animation software, or you could do it all in one take and try and reproduce the magic of a live presentation. Either way, you've got the option of putting transitions, screen graphics, or a bit of music in the background to have some fun and really show the judges what you've got. Next up, if you're in development or professional class, you'll need to do a five page or 10 page enterprise portfolio. Simply present this as a PDF and send it to the digital upload folder, which will be sent to registered teams. It's a very similar situation for the design portfolio. Again, present your work as a PDF and send it to us via the digital upload folder. Then of course, it's all about the racing, which is where the F1 in schools team will do their very best to make sure that you folks are the stars of the show. As with the primary competition, the show is all about watching, relaxing and enjoying as we do the hard work for you, which will be premiered on our YouTube channel, F1 in Schools UK. We're gonna make sure we feature every team and car so you can cheer yourself on while sussing out the competition. And of course, regionals wouldn't be regionals without some representation from around the country. So we really hope that first of all, that gives you enough time to work in schools and at home on your projects, and that competing this season will give you a real boost in 2021. Stay safe, work hard, and we'll look forward to seeing you soon.